Okay, well, today we got in us a package from eBay, and this is our new CPU. Go ahead and get into this. It's not actually a new CPU, it is a, uh, a used CPU, but we needed one for the the Dell, this is a Dell Optiflex 330. So this is it right here. Okay, well, there is the new CPU. So what we gotta do is that we gotta take the old one out. And then once we get that one out, we will swap it out with the new one. A little bit hard getting that off but it came off so now I'm pop this out can you see this good yes you can so okay and then we take this out and so this is the old CPU Okay, well, the company did not provide me with any thermal paste, so this is basically just going to show you how to put everything in. However, I will have to get some thermal paste to put on here later on, which will probably be tomorrow. But, got to move this up, and then we're going to set this sideways. And if you see here, you got the notch here at the top and the notch here at the bottom. And right here, I'm hoping I'll be able to zoom in. You can see that there's a notch here, there's a notch there. So that means that this one goes on like so. Like I said, I got to get some thermal paste to put on here, but you would slide that in there and then bring this down to here. Okay, and that locks everything into place, so everything's there. And then, okay, and now. We need to slide this back in. You got these grooves right here, so they just slide right here. So then you just put it in there, so, and then bring it down. And this right here has some thermal paste on it still from the last one, so at least that's good. At least it's got that there, but I do need to get some more. So like I said, I'll get that tomorrow. And then we will slide it down like that. Then we'll take our screwdriver, which I'm using a small flathead screwdriver. Okay, and that takes care of our new CPU for this unit. And uh, tomorrow or sometime this week, I'll be getting into new memory. Right now, we just got one stick of one gigabyte, which is really bogged down running Windows 2008 server on this thing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hook it up and see if everything runs right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and power it up and there we go let's go ahead and get into the bios and i've also upgraded this to the new bios as well so our bios version is the a11 this one actually came with the a03 so now we're at a11 let's go down here to the processor and our processor is now sitting at 3.16 gigahertz at 1,333 megahertz, 6 megabytes LT cache. So yeah, we're doing really, really, really good. This is an E8500. And so the system originally came with uh, this one right here was a 2.02 gigahertz processor. And so now we are um, dealing with a three. So once I get in the memory, for this system this system ought to run really 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 nice let's go ahead and boot it up and see how fast we boot with the new processor which is not really going to be that much of a big difference between the two changes in process it's the memory that really helps you get going and so like i said i'll have the memory by the end of the week sometime or another 
Okay, everything seems to be working pretty good. Uh, it's going to configure its Windows updates because it did an update right before I shut it down to install the new CPU. So we are doing good. So that is it. I am Wayne Barron. This is DarkEffects.net. So y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching.